hey beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl yanni and today um i'm actually just going to be getting ready for work and i'm probably going to throw this video in a vlog we're going to probably do a vlog i haven't done a vlog in a while but my life is so boring that you guys don't really want to see a day in the life of me right <laughs> i mean i have two babies i take care of i got three children that go to school and then it is cooking cleaning and basically lately I have been on strike I haven't really been cooking I haven't really been cleaning and I don't have any family close that would be able to take care of the kids even if it was for a couple hours my mom works my sister and I like I said we don't really talk plus she works two jobs so I have no one so um, I feel like yet again I'm gonna have to take a hit for the team and turned on the opportunity for the third time which really has me down because um i do have a lot of bills i need to pay and i need to um work you know in this day and age i need to work so uh yeah so i, I have had that weighing on my my shoulders for a few weeks for a couple weeks but yeah but let's get ready i'm gonna do my eyebrows i don't know how but i'm going to But yeah, so I haven't really been up to anything. The kids have been in school, just trying to get back into the emotion of them being in school. Um, it's hard because they don't want to do homework. Um, you know, and there's always some type of excuse or oh, I did homework in school or whatever. And I check their um their bags and they have to read and they don't want to read. And you know, boys are hard. When I was younger. I love to read. Well, that was all I was allowed to do. I wasn't allowed to go outside, so I read a lot of books, a lot. And, you know, that's how I was able to comprehend a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I have a 12-year-old son who is acting like a damn fool. He wants to be social. He wants to be, you know, popular, and he has a lot of stuff that he holds inside and I feel like he's still so young and he doesn't understand and we try to talk to him and it's just you know hard I try to think of myself at 12 my 12 year old self but I was not like that I think the worst thing my mom had to deal with was supposedly I was boy crazy I really wasn't boy crazy it was that boys liked me and then these girls they wanted to fight me over some boys like oh, I ain't got time for that I never fought over boys back then because I wasn't into that I was into studying and I really I wanted to get out of where we were living so my way out was being successful I wanted to be successful so I didn't have time for no boys like you know no it is what it is your boy likes me that's your business you need to take it out with him Cause I'm not the one that's liking anybody, you know. I'm not. I didn't push the issue. There was one boy, one in element, uh, not elementary school, junior high school, or what you guys call in Florida middle school, and he he was popular and everybody liked him. And yeah, I had a crush on him. And yeah, we went out for like maybe a couple of months. But he brought a lot of drama into my life, and I was like, no, we gotta go. And yeah, I still liked him and everything like that, but I kind of shied away from him and we broke up or whatever you want to call it. You know, that's all like that little first boyfriend stuff. Didn't really matter back then, but you know, for a 12 year old or 13 year old, it's like everything at that moment. So yeah, we, I mean, we broke up and I was sad and you know, it was what it was, but I, I felt like, and I feel, that this day and age it's so hard to leave things at school because people or children students kids whatever you want to call them they have access to everything you know like they their school stuff or their school drama doesn't stay at school it comes home with them because you know they have uh phones they have texting they have um snapchat instagram uh what's the other thing you know Facebook if that's you know still going for them Twitter you know and that's 
that's how all that that bullying and everything keeps going because this person knows this this person knows that this one knows this this one talks that and that's ridiculous and that's why you have so many people or so many children acting out and doing crazy things and I'm trying to save my son pretty much you know and I I keep telling him I'm here for him and I can talk to him and I can listen I'm not here to judge yes I'm your mom but I'm here to listen to you too I want to know what's going through your mind because I need to understand first before I want to discipline you know back then there was no listening it was either right or wrong and that's it that's just how it was my mom was one that you know she didn't hear anything else she acted first and then listened later and that was a lot of the stuff that I didn't want to do with my children so I try to have a lot of patience and I try to listen and understand and talk but I want to tell you these children these days I think they needed the discipline that I had when I was growing up versus you know what's going on now with them I'm trying my best to be supportive of him and figure out what we can do to make things better. You know, I don't want him to have a bad time at school. I don't want him to be dreading to go to school and things like that. Because there were times when I was young and those situations were brought up, you know, with the boys and stuff at school, that I was dreading going to school. Oh, I gotta go see the so-and-so. You know, she's gonna start some drama over this dude that I really don't care about, you know. And it seems so tedious now that I'm an adult. It's like, really? I fought over that? And I actually didn't fight, but they were, like, fighting over boys. Like, I mean, but that's, like, the most important thing in their life outside of school right now. Like, they don't have anything else. You know, they're kids. So, I'm like, I got bigger problems. I got bills to pay. I got to figure out how I'm going to pay my next electric bill, how I'm going to pay my next car now, how I'm going to pay my insurance. You know, like, those are the things that matter to me. And I think when I started working at the age of 17... That's just how my mentality ended up being. I mean, I was always mature for my age, and I guess that's from reading books and just not having all that foolishness, you know, hanging out and stuff like that. Like, I was not one of those kids that needed to hang out all the time and all that stuff. Like, my mom was so strict with me, and then my sister came along, and she was not strict at all with her. She just kind of let her run everything. And she's still paying for it now because my sister is... You know, my sister is a brat, but, um, you know, it's just, I feel like I grew up so fast. I didn't have a childhood. I didn't really enjoy myself. You know, like these kids have everything. You know, like when I was coming up, cell phones were just coming out. I had a beeper. I paid for my beeper myself. I actually paid for my own cell phone. Like my mom was like, oh, you want it? You need to buy it. You need to work hard and you need to buy it because mom is not going to buy it for you. And you know that's exactly how it was I worked really really hard and I bought my first beeper and I bought my second beeper and then I bought my first phone you know and I can say proudly that my mom has never bought any of those things for me computers you know all that stuff um, we had our first computer I think my uncle gave it to us so it's like I didn't have any of that um, stuff given we earned it you know like now everything is given to kids like they need this they need that oh we need this you know and i'm like are you kidding me you don't need this when i was younger i i used to go to it from school just fine without a phone no, i used to walk you know and at that i was raised in new york city heavy crime the this generation is so needy and because they have so much access to everything it just makes them even more needy and i don't know it's just, it is what it is, and it bothers me. It really, really bothers me. And it makes it hard to be a good parent now because, you know, they have all this accessibility to everything. It's just, we need to stop. We need to stop giving access to, to everything. And me, as a mom, like... It's just become so convenient with phones and tablets and computers that you just kind of like just let it roll like whatever you know we're just gonna let that go and I'm like what am I doing I need to stop but it's so hard when you fall into this like routine it's just like I don't know what to do again I'm dipping into the Jaclyn Hill palette I've been playing with this palette a lot this week I'm trying to figure out some looks 
but I mean, what can you do? It is what it is. Kids are kids and you live and learn and I'm trying my best to change, but it's so easy when everything is so convenient. It's just like right there and you just want them to just stop. And then I have five of them and they get on my nerves. And honestly, I question myself every day as a mother. Like I am constantly, constantly questioning myself if I'm doing everything right. You know, can I do something better? What can I change? How do I change it? Like, it's just, it's such a difficult thing. Being a mom is like the hardest job ever. You are so hard on yourself all the time. And I don't want to cry, but I'm getting super emotional right now. I can just feel it's like a ball right in my throat. Being a mom is, is crazy. Like, I wanted to be a mom so much because when I married my husband, I had some infertility issues and... You know they said I wasn't gonna be able to be a mom and he had a son already which made me a little sad because you know I'm his wife you know he chose me and I can't give him the one thing that I'm be able I'm um, you know able I'm supposed to be able to give him so it hurt me a lot and we tried everything and it took me three years to have my first son and when I had him I was so excited you know and then we wanted to have a daughter because we already had first we wanted a daughter because we already had a son but then we had a second son and then we wanted a daughter and then my second son was kind of like an accident it wasn't supposed to happen but you know he's here and i love him and we already had we had three sons so we were like mm, we're we're done we're not gonna have any more okay i need to put some tape on because I wanted to do an intricate look. I'm actually going to try to do this look. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like an orangey look. So I'm going to actually dip into my 35B palette. I mean, I try. Like I said, I can only try. There's not much else I can do. It's, it's, you know, whether I do certain things as a mom or I don't do them as a mom, it's just, that's just going to be what it's gonna be I can't change that you know it's society is always going to um, is gonna always want to criticize we're always gonna have something to say so kind of just roll with it I'm a good mother I'm a bad mother I mean everybody's gonna have some kind of opinion about something But yeah, I mean, if you guys are, any of you mothers out there that, like, are going through the same woes that I'm going through, you know, hit me up. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you do? I mean, like I said, I have a 12-year-old who is, I don't know, he really, really needs a lot of attention. I think he's seeking it out the wrong way. And I try my best. But no matter how much attention you give them, it's never going to be enough. And I feel like he doesn't understand. You know, I give him as much as I can. I try to give out, give quality time to all of them. I have five at home right now. You know, it is difficult because I have a two-year-old and I have a one-year-old that demand a whole lot more attention than the older ones. And you would think, you know, they're older. They should understand. No, they actually whine a lot more than what the younger ones do. So I'm going to do all my face makeup and everything and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So makeup is done. As you can see, it's alright. I'm not 100% happy with it. But it looks good. Face makeup looks great. My eyes, I have to work on it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to work now. And I've worked, this is my fifth day straight. Can I wait, tomorrow's my day off. And I'm going to rest as much as I can. My knee and my ankle on my right leg are killing me. And now my left knee is hurting me. Um, Cause I've been working so many days. I'm not used to working five straight days. Used to working about three days, maybe four days, but with days off in between so yeah, my body is definitely feeling it 
and then um, I just I'm getting old I'm gonna be 38 next year and I'm just super old that's all I gotta say I have so many injuries from when I was younger I was a cheerleader and I have some knee injuries some ankle injuries so if I'm on my feet for too long or if I'm moving around too long um, they'll start to hurt my joints and no I don't take vitamins and no I don't do any of that stuff I hardly drink milk and everybody's like oh you gotta take better care of yourself you know what you live one life and you just live it the way that you're gonna live it and that's pretty much it um, but yeah tomorrow I am off my husband's working and um, we're gonna do the same thing we do every weekend which is nothing um, I don't take the kids out on the weekends and they go out maybe the two older ones go out with their friends um, the two babies are always home you know there's nowhere to take it we live in Florida but like I said money is like extra tight and we're planning a vacation in October to go up to New York which costs a lot of money so you know we have to sacrifice what we can um, you know to make that a, a good vacation for the kids you know it, everything is about money you know you want to go anywhere you want to have a good time with the kids then yeah it's gonna be money and then people always tell me why don't you take the kids to the park it takes me two hours to get all five of these children ready because I have to pack diaper bags formula you know snacks also have to get bottled water lunch all that stuff for all the other ones because I can't afford to buy any food outside so I have to pack all that then to get them all ready to get them in the car it takes me like an hour and a half just to get everything ready and then we get to the park and like 20 minutes in maybe 30 minutes they're like oh it's so hot oh this is boring can we go home now I need the air conditioner you know it's just like really Back in the day, the park was where it was at. Like, when I was younger, everybody wanted to go to the park. Everybody wanted to go to the swings, go down the slide. Nobody wants to do any of that now. I mean, unless you're like a baby, baby, baby kid, maybe between one and five, you're not going to want to go to the park. And why am I going to go to the park just for the two little ones? It's just... And then have the three older ones just constantly, constantly bickering or constantly complaining. I don't want to do that. We just stay home. And that's usually what we do. We just stay home. Now I'm at work. So I will see you guys later. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and chatting with me. And listening to my little rants. And please subscribe if you haven't. And like and share. Comment down below if you're going through the same thing. If you have any advice for me. Then please, please, everything is welcome. All positivity, no negativity. And I will see all of you beauties all in my next video. Bye.